Hi my friend, in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, uh, actually do the custom functions inside of Flutterflow and I'm also going to show you some examples so you can get the idea. So without any further ado and of course after you have joined this community by just subscribing to this humble and uh, small channel. So after that we are going to get started but don't forget to subscribe so we can actually build a community together so without any further ado let's get into it so before we get started i just wanted to show you uh what is a custom function in just a very simple way right so this is uh, like a presentation of what a custom function is so it's you have an input so you give it the input and that is not uh, all so you give it the input and you tell us what it has to do with that specific input so if it was a number so uh does it have to divide it multiply it or uh, add something to it so this is the, these are the operations that it has to do with uh, like an integer or a double so if the input was a string or document reference or an image then the operation may, dif may be different right so you got the idea so after you have actually give it uh, or gave it the what it has to do with that with the input that you have given it then you need to tell it so uh, what is the input or what is the output so you you for example you have uh let's say nine you want to multiply it by six so you give it the operation to multiply nine by six and the output will be somehow automatic right so the the, the result of the operation is uh, your output so it's not different it's very simple right so now actually let's go and see or let me just uh, give you an idea of how we do this so first thing we have an idea of uh, uh, the function that we want so it's, it is again a custom function which will require us to write some code but don't don't worry we are going to find a, a workaround don't worry so now let's say you have an idea of a function that you need to use inside of your app so you have the input and you know what that function has to do and you know the output right so for example you want to calculate the percentage of a certain number for example uh, this is an example that most of you can uh, can use inside of their app but there are plenty of ideas that that actually depends on your specific app and on your specific needs so uh, you first let's say you have an idea of function and now you want to build it you what you have to do is that you want to first specify the input that it has to take then you want to imagine or just write the operation and chat gpt will generate that code for you so i'm talking to people who don't know how to code but still want to build their app and take it to the next level so you can use the power of ai just to make it easier for you so you can get things done right so this is how we build a custom function now let me check you to inside or let me actually take you to ChatGPT and show you what i'm going to do with that so i can make my own custom function so let's move on to, to the next step so here we are inside of uh, ChatGPT, right so now what i'm going to be doing is very very simple uh, so let me actually tell you what i want uh, the thing that i want to do with my app or sorry with my custom function is that i want to calculate the percentage of a certain number so let's say we have l let's say we have uh, uh, 50 people who have so let's say i'm building an app and 50 i have 50 users and just uh, let, let's say 19 of them were my actual uh, subscribers so they are not just users but they are paid users which means they have they uh, that they are actually uh, subscribers right uh, and i want to see how much so in terms of percentage uh, how much i have or how much paid users I have inside of my app. So this is a custom function. So this is just an example. Now I will actually tell you what I need to tell ChatGPT so it can generate the custom function for me. So this is actually what I have uh, told ChatGPT to do for me. So let me read it with you. So here I said that I want a, uh, a Dart function code. So it is function, sorry. And some of you may actually be wondering what is dart so flutterflow is actually a no code tool based on the flutter language and the flutter framework if you like is based on the dart language so uh, this is what i have said that i want a function in the dart language program uh, programming language right so here i have i started to actually specify my inputs right i have said that the function will take two integers so these are my uh, my inputs so from two inches to the second one so i want to they want the function to take two integers the first one is users 
the second one is paid users so these are my inputs and then i have told ChatGPT what i want the function to do or the operation right so the function will divide paid users by users and then multiply the result by 100 so this is or this operation is what we usually do to calculate the percentage of a number right so if uh, for example let's say we i have let's say 50 users and here i have 25 users so if we divided 25 by f uh, by 50 we are going to have 0 0.5 and if we have multiplied so 0 0.5 with uh, or by 100 we are going to have 50 percent and truly 25 is 50 percent of 50 right so this is uh, uh, the same uh, so now let's uh, try and click here so we will see what we are going to have so uh, chat gpt is uh, dynamically generating this for us so this is the code and we are going to use that in the next step where we are going to get inside of flutterflow and see how we do that so here we are inside of uh, flutterflow and uh, so before we move on in this uh, step so if you like this video if you found it helpful until this point then take two seconds of your time and just click on the thumbs up so we can help this video reach as much people as possible so do that and you can continue from there right so uh, if you want to build or make a custom code then go to that option right there so here you have custom functions custom widgets and custom actions so for now we only care about making custom functions so we will also take a look at custom widgets in the, in more advanced videos so if you are interested about how we can uh, make custom widgets so make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you turn on the bell icon so if i post that video you will be the first one to be notified so now i will be adding a new function and this is uh, the the template that they are giving you so this is so here so let's start talking here so we have the function settings and we have the type so uh, what it has to take so remember that we, we are building a function that takes integers so let's specify that here and uh, yes we're going to so sorry this is the return value so sorry so the return value which is the result what it has to take to give you at the end of the operation or the output which is uh, uh, the one that you see here right this is the output which is the return value so i wanted to return an integer or yes sometimes it can return a double if you like so let's uh, keep it uh, a double right here so uh, this or here you can uh, specify the name of your uh, function we can call it percentage and you see that it was changed right uh, here and here they have told you to just modify the code between these two green lines so now we have set up everything now we can go back to chat gpt and get the code right so what you have to copy as you can see so you need to copy from uh, the first uh, curly braces and the last one copy what is between them and paste it here so we can do that we can come back and select the first one and select so this is the last one don't copy it copy the thing that with that are b above it right or before it so we can copy that and we can come here and paste it so some of you may have issues like this so this is what so uh, because you, we haven't defined the arguments yet so we can uh, undo that and now we can come here and pass or just specify our arguments so the first argument will be paid users so uh, the arguments are the inputs and the return value is the output and this is the operation right so again the the input the operation and the, the output right so this is uh, an integer that cannot be null right so uh, we have paid users because we cannot have a double because we cannot have a, a user and a half so you know and here we can add the uh, users which is again uh, in an integer that you, that cannot be zero right you can make it zero if you like but you can keep it like this uh, it, it is always up to you right so uh, as I told you so we have defined the arguments and here we still have some errors to fix which is this this one so this is just the name of the function so we can copy it so for the uh, chat GPT is giving us the name 
so it is this is the name and and also push it here on the top now by doing this you have done a lot of things and uh, so uh, you need to delete this by the way so it, it doesn't so this is just an example so uh, ChatGPT has given you the code and this is an example just delete it uh you don't need it so you, you don't need that and just to be safe you can just remove this and put it right here so you can we can keep it back or put it back where it was so this is how you make uh, a custom function inside the flow and you see here this is the code or this is the operation you see and now if we save that so it now it is saved so by the way the save option was here so sorry if i was hiding that and now uh, this is where we can compile it so compiling it means that we are going to check if it has some errors or not so now as you can see it, it has no errors and now let's move on to the next step and see how we can test this function so flutterflow has a built-in uh, option for you to test your function right so here the paid users let's say we have <coughs> 25 paid users and here we have 50 in total right so the result will be 50 percent it is very obvious and it doesn't have to be that complicated you see it is 50 percent right so if what if we have 19 for example now let's try and see what we are going to have so see if we have 19 paid users out of 50 total users so we are going to have 30 38 percent so the, the the percentage of these paid users are 38 percent so guys this is how you make uh, a custom function inside of a flutter flow so i have just given you a very basic example so maybe in the future or maybe in future courses we are going to go in detail and we are going to make more advanced and complicated functions so it will help you check your skills to the next level so always make sure you subscribe and turn turn on the bell icon so if i post a new course or a playlist which will help take your skills to the next level so make sure so it is very simple just subscribe and turn on the bell icon you will never miss any of my upcoming videos and you will be the first one in this community to, to learn new skills and also uh, get ahead of a lot of people so you can get your apps out there as, as fast as possible so i really appreciate your time and and your attention i hope that you have uh, found this video very very helpful and if you do don't forget to go now to the comment section and tell us what you have learned and what issue you have found so i'm very uh excited about uh, knowing what you how you feel about this video so go now to the comment section write something there and i will be happy to answer your qu questions and also share your opinion with the community so thank you so much so much for watching and see you on the next video